Okay, fam. I'm going to show you the ingredients. I'm going to make my pizza with. I'm going to lay down here some parchment paper. And I'm going to spread it out. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use my pizza sauce. When I tell you that game day in Tuscaloosa is crazy, fam. It is crazy. People drive so insane. Like they be about to run you over. And it's the Alabama fans that does it. And I don't understand how these folks, I guess I don't know. So on game day, if I have to go somewhere, I try to get out early, early. Because don't get caught up in that traffic. When I say don't get caught up in that traffic, don't get caught up in that traffic. All right. I like a lot of pizza sauce on mine. So you never know. I didn't learn. I didn't see how a lot of these people at these restaurants don't wash their hands. I didn't been to restaurants through the drive through The person, the cook that came out, was smoking a cigarette, went back in there and started back cooking without even washing his hands. All right. I couldn't find me no Italian seasoning, but it's oregano. It's going to do the same deal. So I'm going to put some of that down. I ain't going to put that much. My thin deli ham. And when I say thin, they mean thin. But game day in Tuscaloosa, like I was saying, fam, it's, it's crazy. It is truly crazy. Tuscaloosa really ain't nothing but a college student town. That's it. That's really it. We're overpopulated. And people are steady moving here every day. The price that went up to rent anything, they started building college dorms. Every time you look around, they got college dorms everywhere, apartment buildings and everything. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous. Y'all see that? Okay, here's my salami. I'm trying to talk my husband into moving in order for us to move out of Tuscaloosa, to move somewhere else, back in the country. Because it's, it's, it's too populated. It really and truly is. I got to It's going to be a lot of meat. A lot of meat. But I'm going to say some of this salami for sandwiches. All right. Got my pepperoni finna put on. All right. I'm going to put this pepperoni on here. But I don't know, fam. I truly don't know. Because I really am ready to move out of Tuscaloosa. It's getting so crazy to really, anywhere you move, you got something going on. And it just, I don't know. These students get to drinking and driving at night. That's all you hear. The sirens going off. It ain't nothing but a party time for them. All right, let me get my ovens on there. Okay, I'm going to put my black olives on there. Now I'm going to put me some banana peppers. My hands are clean. And I like to make my own pizza fan. Now the recipe that I see where you roll it up and slice it, we'll see. I wanted to do that one. But I changed my mind. That's I know y'all probably saying that's not too many black uh banana peppers. It's gonna be spicy, yes. And even though I got S reflux. It's still going to be good. I took my medicine. So I'm good. All right. Wait a minute. I need to put some more. My husband loves banana peppers too. Yeah, some more. I think that'll be enough. Now I'm going to put some cheese. It's the mild cheese. I'm going to put two types of cheese. I'm going to put mozzarella and the um, mild cheese on mine. I like a lot of cheese. So it's going to be cheesy. Oh, that looks so good, fam. It looks good already. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I'm going to put my mozzarella. Oh, that's going to be good. Ooh, this will be real good. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to put that 
down there. I'm going to add a little parsley flakes on here. Okay. I'm going to add a little complete. And I know y'all probably saying complete. Yes, complete. I love complete. I'm going to add a little bit of that. Now I'm going to roll it together. I don't want it stuck together. Come on, baby. Hold on, fam. When I tell you this is a messy process, it is. But I done got her flipped over. I'm tucking her in because I want all my goodness to stay in there. Oh, it's thick too, fam. All right, let me wash my hands. I'll be okay. Back. I'm going to put a little bit of oregano on here. she look before I put it in the oven. I'm going to make some little slice slits in them. Come on, baby. Alright. Okay, that's how she look. That is how she looks. I'm preheating my oven to 425 it for 20 minutes, and I'll be back. Oh, it's hot. And I didn't chew it off of it. I'm cutting on too. Look at that family. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that is good. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you know when I upload another video. Oh, that is so good, and it's hot too, fam. Look how good that is. Mm -mm, give me thumbs up. I'm finna to eat. Y'all have a blessed Saturday. Bye-bye.